Now, starting the year, Trey Miller was the man that called the shots offensively for Navy. He got injured late in the ball game at Air Force. Team was trailing 28-20. That's when Keenan Reynolds entered, a true freshman. Tied the game, won it in overtime. He started the last two weeks. First freshman to start at quarterback for Navy in 21 years. And, well, he's unbeaten at 2-0. Here pitching to the senior, G.G. Green, who gets his third carry of the day. A couple of yards there. And it's Damon Magazoo who came up to get the stop for East Carolina. A little more of the same there for Keenan Reynolds. Takes the pop once again, pitches it out to G.G. That's what they'll do. They're just going to take what the defense gives them. And right now, East Carolina, they're taking away the inside dive and also the quarterback. Coach Nelson, another senior back in. And they'll rotate all these slot backs. And Marcus Thomas get the touchdown earlier. Saw Darius Staten get a carry. G.G. Green, the move man. The pitch man is Snelson. He cuts back at the 45 and gets a few on the play to set up third down and short. Magazoo there once again to make the stop with Chip Thompson. And Navy has done a great job early in this football game of getting third down and short. That's where they have to be if they're going to be successful. Well, their goal is to stay on schedule. First down, you want to get two to three or four yards. Second down, same thing, about three to four yards. Give you a chance to be manageable on third down. So. Right now, Navy is doing very well on first and second down, not even getting the third down to continue the change. Third down and about four here. Crowd comes to life. Reynolds, this time going to keep it himself. He's got the first down and more. Across the 40, inside the 30, and running down inside the 20 to the 14-yard line of East Carolina. Well, the first time that he's allowed to get around the edge by the defense, and Reynolds does a nice job of taking it out. You see him take away the dive here. The defensive end comes inside. It's a log block by the tackle. Keenan Reynolds has space here. He didn't turn that inside. He might have had a bigger run, but it's a good job by Sean Lynch on the outside, getting a, long, a block there down the field for him. Huge play for Reynolds. A big pickup on third down, and Navy knocking on the door again. First and 10 at the 15. Reynolds pitching out to State, who cuts it back inside the 10 and pulled down at the nine-yard line. You, know, you see an appreciation here for blocking in this game if you like to see precision. Marcus Thomas, who ran the touchdown in on the first drive, excellent block there on the outside, allowing Staten to pop underneath him for a nice gain. So, again, the midshipmen staying on track, on schedule here with this run game. East Carolina continues to rotate in players defensively, trying to stay fresh because Navy, despite the fact that they are a running team, has been very up-tempo in their first two drives. Reynolds has only tried one pass so far today. This attack has been on the ground. It'll stay that way on second down. Reynolds keeping. He's got the first down and took a big hit as he went inside the five. And the man there to make the stick, Jeremy Grove. He is a big timer on defense. Well, Grove does a nice job coming down the line here, making a hit on the quarterback. But you know what? This is the offense that Navy runs, and they do it all the same way all every week. There's nothing really new. The wrinkles really aren't that different. You just have to play mano a mano and understand your keys. You know, we talked to Coach McNeil, Ruffle McNeil for, for East Carolina, and he said, this is going to be very much an eyes ball game. You've got to have your eyes on the target. First and goal at the four. Reynolds sends Green in motion. Quick pitch to Gigi. He's going to lose yardage back to the six-yard line. What about the effort by Jacoby Jenkins to fight off the block and make the play? Good leverage by Jenkins. He maintained leverage to the outside, which is his job, forced from the outside. I think, though, that if he had turned up inside, he would have had a much better opportunity to run that ball. So that was a good down for, for ECU. Jenkins, a North Carolina kid, five solo tackles and broke up three passes a week ago in the victory at UAB. A little unbalanced look here for Navy offensively, the second time we've seen this today. Green once again in motion. The fullback, Copeland has it. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Green midshipman. Noah Copeland, second on the team in rushing, has got his second score of the season. And Navy has come to town very businesslike, taking an early 13-0 advantage over East Carolina. Yeah, it's very apparent here that Brian Mitchell, the defensive coordinator, has to find a way to get this Navy team off schedule. Get some inside penetration, some things that are going to disrupt their timing. They have not been able to do that today. Nick Sloan, going to be a busy... Man today, if this keeps up, one for one on extra points. We talk about spreading it around. 
Reynolds has a couple of carries for 43 yards. Thomas, two carries and a score. Staten's carried it twice, and G.G. Green four times. Copeland with two carries. He also has gotten into the end zone, and with the extra point by Sloan, it's now 14-0, Navy on top. Keenan Reynolds has been effective, and he's using all his weapons this afternoon. East Carolina's got the ball when we come back.